CoStar Group made it official, acquiring the online marketplace LoopNet for more than $800 million. Joining me now in a Fox Business exclusive is uh, Andrew Florence. He, of course, is the CEO of CoStar. And this is a major acquisition. The analyst community was not surprised by this deal because you're basically mending what you do, which is uh, information on commercial real estate and LoopNet, which is a marketplace for people to buy commercial real estate. Correct. And uh, so they're number one on the internet for marketing commercial estate. We're number one for research and analyzing commercial estate. What we share in common is an awful lot of content, millions of listings on uh, commercial property out there. We also have about a million uh, players in commercial real estate that we're dealing with, and we're, we're able to leverage uh, uh, the increased content and, and customer relationship across both platforms. Where, where is the environment right now for commercial real estate overall? Because I remember, gosh, even six months ago, uh, it was all going to implode and it was a disaster and run for the hills. That never happened. Mm -hmm. What do you see happening now, though, in the industry? Well, uh, you're back to fundamentals now where uh, the one thing that did happen uh, with, the, uh, with the bust was people stopped building any new commercial real estate. We're at the lowest construction level you've seen for commercial real estate in, this in, in the last 50 years. I can't even go build a strip mall right now if I wanted to. Nobody would finance me, right? Right. And, and so the, there's no new supply. You've got job growth. And when you get job growth, you get demand for commercial real estate. So the standing inventories are getting tighter. And as those inventories come down, prices begin to recover. You're already seeing uh, investment-grade real estate recover. And we believe that you're going to see general commercial real estate recover the next six months, and that's really what LoopNet has exposure to and one of the reasons we uh, stepped up and did the deal now. Your stock, actually, we showed the chart a moment ago. You actually are hitting a new 52-week high today, as a matter of fact. So obviously Wall Street uh, and your shareholders, I'm sure, like the deal. But talk to me about the next five years. Do you have a strategic five-year plan, and are there any more acquisitions that you might be making? Well, uh, our plate is full. This is the largest acquisition we've, uh, we've done. We've probably done about uh, a dozen or two dozen acquisitions, and they've all been successful. Um, but our plate is full for acquisitions for right now. We might do a little tuck-in acquisitions. Uh, what we're going to be uh, focusing on is uh, selling our information products to their, inf uh, their marketing uh, customers and vice versa. So we're going to be doing a lot of cross-selling. Uh, we're going to be combining the content to improve the customer experience for both the LoopNet customer and the CoStar customer. And, uh, and really, we should be able to also bring our cost structure down a little bit because we're uh, both spending an awful lot of money on managing and moving this content that has some similarities. Who do you compete with? I mean, it's a, it's a crowded space if you look at the overall industry. It's a multi-trillion dollar industry. But who do you think your main competitor is right now? Well, um, both CoStar and Loop that pretty much invented our respective spaces. So 10 years ago, neither one of us had any meaningful revenue. We're both new phenomena. This is sort of an internet revolution. It's very different, yeah. So uh, our, our competition would probably be a, a Google, uh, to a lesser degree, a Bloomberg. Uh, you can find a lot of content on commercial real estate in Google, so it's an indirect competitor. And then the brokerage firms themselves provide uh, uh, information to their customers and marketing services. Well, uh, congratulations on the acquisition. Many expected it. Now it's official. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you very much. All right, Andrew Florence, he is the CEO of CoStar Group.